Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. All right, you guys, bare face, I am going to talk with you about some of my makeup routine. This has been a huge request, almost, well, every day for sure, many times a day. I get messages and emails asking if I would consider doing a makeup tutorial because I guess you guys like the way I do my makeup and that is such a compliment because I do not know what I'm doing. So if you're okay with the blind, leading the blind, <laughs> then stick around. I'm not going to do a full makeup tutorial in this video, but I'm going to break this into bite-sized chunks. And today we're gonna to talk about taking care of your skin and prepping your skin so that you can have the best success when it comes to putting on your makeup. So let's start with this. We'll see how this video goes and maybe I'll continue on in a series showing you the various techniques I use in my own makeup routine. Let's go. Okay, everyone, please bear with me. I am not, this is one of the very few videos I've ever done like this. So if you're new to my channel, I review wigs and I support women with hair loss with content and ideas with wigs, with hair fibers. I am not a makeup expert. I'm not a beauty guru by any stretch of the imagination, but my community has been begging me to do uh, makeup tutorials for a couple of years now, and I've just been dragging my feet. But I, the requests are coming hot and heavy, so I decided to show you guys what I do, and if it helps anyone, then it'll be worth the uncomfortable feeling that I am having right now making this video. Uh, so I would like to give a disclaimer that I, because I'm not an expert at this, all I can do is share my personal experience and what works for me. It may not work for you. If your skin is very different from mine, you may have to find other help. But my skin it tends to be dry and it is aging. I am 51 years old and I'm very lucky. I recognize my skin is pretty good for my age but it is aging skin. I am noticing even if the wrinkles in some places aren't very deep, I do have some deeper wrinkles on my forehead and here. Even though they're not super deep, even little lines can really make wearing makeup challenging. And I don't have any oily skin, not even in my T-zone. So everything I do for myself is based on my dry skin. So if you have oily skin, these products might not, but I think prepping your skin is critical. It makes all the difference. And I didn't used to do this. I didn't used to put moisturizer on my skin, but over the last six months, so I recently released a video on a handheld anti-aging device by a company called Even Skin. It's their Lumo device. And in that video, I talk about one of the benefits of having used that device is it encouraged me to do other good things for my skin. So I started using moisturizers and oils and eye cream, and I never did that before I started using the Lumo. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description. It might be something that's worth it for you to take a look at. But, so the disclaimer is, I've only really been caring for my skin in this way for the past six months or so, and I really see a difference. So, first thing, Depending on your skin type, you really want to make sure that you are cleansing your face every single day with something that is appropriate for your dry skin. skin. So everything I use is moisturizing. I have been making my own face wash for the past two years and I have no intention of stopping. It's almost gone. I need to make myself another batch. So if you want a tutorial on this, Leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to make one if people even care to know. I absolutely love what this has done for my skin. It has made all the difference in my skin texture, in the health of my skin, and in the dryness. That is how I cleanse my face every single night. And I have found my face has been clearer, it's been smoother, and it has been more moisturized. For a long time, that's all I did. I didn't put any moisturizer on my face. I didn't feel like I needed to. But as I'm getting older, like I said, I think I said I'm 51, uh, you know, I need to start thinking about these things a little bit more. So I started to use two things, three things actually on my face every night to help lock in the moisture. I love this stuff by CeraVe. It is their PM 
face moisturizing lotion. It's not expensive. I got it on Amazon. I do have other lotions that I use and sometimes alternate. I don't really haven't discovered a favorite that I can't live without. This stuff seems to work really, really well. So I do recommend this. So the first thing I do before I put that lotion on is I use this eye cream by CeraVe. I really like the CeraVe brand. It's accessible, it's not super expensive, and it seems to work well. Even some like well-known beauty gurus mention CeraVe. So the first thing I do, and I use this morning and night, is I just take a tiny little bit of the eye cream. I'd use my ring fingers because they're more gentle. If you use your index fingers, you can tend to be a little more aggressive than your delicate under eye skin can handle. And I just, tap on the eye cream under my eyes. I find that it helps with um, dark circles. Oops, it's getting hot in here. You can see my face is getting red. Uh, dark circles, it helps with um, fine lines and it's just really great. I think it might maybe even has caffeine in it. I can't remember, but I think it does. But I use that morning and night, and I find that it has made a really big difference in my under eye. All right, I had to open my bathroom door here. It was getting way too hot in here. So um, let's continue. So then I use the PM cream, and I put it all over my face, and I give it about five minutes to absorb. And then I just recently discovered this product and I love it. It is from a company called Naked and Thriving and it's their Prevent Oil. I absolutely love this stuff. It is so, um, it smells so good. It is scented. It's got like a citrusy smell and it's just an oil. So I just put about six drops of oil on my hand. I emulsify it, rub it together, and then I just pat it on my face all over. I just love this stuff and it feels so good. I focus a little bit. I get really dry around my nose. So I make sure there's a good amount around my nose, around my mouth, and then I put some on my neck. I absolutely love this stuff. I highly recommend it. I will link everything in the description. If only for the smell, it is so good. Now you can use these, the oil and the under eye in the morning as well. And you can also, I do actually have the CeraVe AM. I don't use it a lot. Um, I'll probably use it a little more in the summer because it's got a good sunscreen in it. But you can do this in the morning and at night, especially if you have really dry skin, and just give it a little bit of time to absorb before you put your makeup on. So those are my skincare products that I use to try to help with my um, clean, cleansing my skin and making sure I am hydrating my skin every single day. I can't stress enough, you guys, how important prepping your palette. This is your palette, like a, an artist's palette, prepping it for makeup. It really does make a difference. If you're not currently exfoliating your face, cleansing it every day, moisturizing it, if you have oily skin, using products for that, if you are not currently doing that, you're really missing out. And all the makeup tutorials in the world can only do so much. The other thing that I recently started doing, well, actually I've been sort of doing it for years, but recently really doubled down on it is shaving my face and getting rid of the peach fuzz and the little hair. This may be controversial. I don't know. I, I do know that some people, there's an old wives tale out there that if you do that, the hair will grow back darker and coarser. I have not experienced it. I have been getting rid of the hair around my mouth for years. It does not come back thicker or darker. Now, what I used for years, again, I will link everything that I can find in the description, is this by, a, it's called Flawless. It's a basically a face shaver. And I used this for years to get rid of all of the hair around my mouth. And then I would use it just sort of here on the sides. You know, sometimes in certain lighting, you can see the peach fuzz. But lately, there's been a lot more videos on shaving your face. And they do make face shavers for women that help with this. Not only does it get rid of all the peach fuzz all over, which makes it harder for makeup to go on smoothly and to stay on all day, but it also serves to exfoliate your skin, which I think is super important. Try to get rid of all of the dead skin cells. Again, if your palette is smooth, your makeup will look and stay much better. 
So I have some of these um, by Chic. But recently I saw someone on Instagram talk about this, this by a company called Jill. Can't really read that on there, but she's got these cool oil wipes. You use the magic wipe on your face and then you use the razor. So they have refills. They recommend you only use these once a month and they have these refills. So this is what the razor looks like. Very small. And you just put it on this so the refill comes but you always keep this piece right here so you put it on here and then you just use it so basically when you shave your face you want to pull it taut and you just want to kind of do it at an angle it's not being rough you're not scratching your face and what you're doing is you're getting rid of all the peach fuzz on your face if you're new to this I recommend you start out with something like this. It's a lot more foolproof. It's a lot less scary if you've never shaved your face before. This will work great. Just like this. It won't do the exfoliating that the razor will do, but it will help get rid of that peach fuzz. And that is so critical. These last forever. I've had this one for over three years um, and it works great. So that is the next piece that I want to stress is, you know, making sure not only are you cleansing your face and moisturizing your face, but you're making it as smooth as possible so that your makeup will go on flawlessly and stay on all day. Okay, so on to the next step. So we've prepped our face, we've cleansed our face, we've been doing our nighttime skincare routine to have the most smooth palette possible. So one of the other things that I really like to do is use a little self tanner on my face. I just find, and on my kind of neck and decolletage in the winter, I just find my makeup looks a little bit better when I have a little bit of a healthy flush, like a tan. And so I use, I have a couple of these actually that I've been using. They're both by Ulta. I don't know if they carry them anymore. If I can find them, I'll link them in the description. But I really love the Gradual Self Tan Facial Mist. Now, I don't use this always in the morning. It kind of depends. You need to have a clean face with this. So if my skin is feeling really good and it's not super dry after I wash my face at night, sometimes I might skip my lotion routines and use this spray. Sometimes when I get up in the morning before I do anything with my face, I maybe use this and then I go have my, you know, cup of coffee or my breakfast or before I put my makeup on, I'll spray this on me so that it will dry. I love this stuff. I think it works great. One caution though, here's how I do it. I spray it all over my face and I don't have a shirt on when I do this and I spray it on my neck all back here and sort of on my decolletage, this area. Because then if I'm wearing a lower shirt, all of this will match in color. The problem is it does, when you do it that way, it doesn't go on super easy. Like you'll get some tan around here, but then it will sort of end if you didn't go over your shoulders. This is the method I use in the winter when I don't have short sleeve shirts or tank tops on. If you are in the summer, I tend to get enough sun where I don't need to do that. But if it's the summer, then I would recommend if you use some of this all over your face, then use something else that you could put on the rest of your body so that you get even coverage. This isn't meant to be on your whole body. It won't give you even coverage, but it gives a beautiful Bron light bronze color. It's buildable. It won't be super dark. And so you can use it multiple days in a row if you want to build up your color. But when I don't do that, I find my makeup does not look as good. I think it makes a really big difference. That may not be true for you, but it is true for me. So I wanted to share. So that is basically my skincare routine that I do to make putting my makeup on work better. My makeup looks better. My skin is healthier and it seems like my makeup will hold better all day when I do these things. Hopefully this helped you in a future video. We'll move on to how I put on my face makeup and the products that I use. But for today, this is the routine that I follow and I really recommend it, especially if you have dry skin. So I will link everything we talked about in the description below. So the, so the, Naked and Thriving Oil, the CeraVe Lotion and Eye Cream, this Dermatology stuff. If I can find the Gradual Tanning Spray, I'll link that as well. And just hopefully, you know, the face shavers, the little kind of 
electric razor. I'll link it all in the description and I'm not expecting you to buy any of it. I just think it's just helpful to have some resources. So if these are things you've tried, please put in the comments how they work for you and if you have found a difference. If you have other products that you love, I'd love to hear about them. But if you've never tried some of these things and you're struggling, maybe give it a shot and see if it helps. It's really helped me. I mean, my skin has not been this good in I can't even remember when. And I do think it's because I'm diligently caring for it when I never used to. So, and let me know if you want a tutor tutorial on how I make my face cleanser. It's really simple. It'll be like a three minute video, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>